Hello and welcome. I was just standing here and thinking about this beginning of this river that was going through the jungle and I was just thinking that actually for many artists the art market can be a kind of jungle especially when you are in the beginning of your career or you are stepping up your career to, to a different art market. The jungle can be, be really be a scary place, this jungle of, of, of the art market, because so many things can happen and perhaps there are dangers involved and it is so hard to get an overview. And I think it is really a big opportunity lost to begin your journey with, with thinking about the art market as a place to, to fear. Actually, when you as an artist are beginning your journey into an art market or you are stepping up your journey into a different art market, you are already on the winning side. This, this, this is really something strange to, to say it. And why is not every artist uh, actually uh, winning from, from the beginning? Uh, I will come to, to this. But think about it. <coughs> the art market is a market that is perhaps different than, than any other art um, uh, market. When you are looking what uh, successful artists are actually doing, they are understanding that what they have to offer has a special kind of value. A normal market is based, uh, let's say, on this uh, simple connection between offer and demand products and, and selling, buying and so on. But the art market is what the successful artists are doing in the art market. They are focusing very much on the unique values that they are offering. So there is something special about this artist, what this artist has uh, to offer, something he can only bring forward that is so unique that uh, other people are seeing the value in it that they are wanting to become part of it. So actually seeing the artist as the most important person in the art market is making you direct in the beginning of your journey into a winner or um, let's say it this way it is positioning you in a unique place because the whole art market is actually built around you. An art market without the artist, without his possibility of transforming all these ideas, values, uh, artistic visions and materializing them into the artwork wouldn't exist. So you are in the beginning of your journey in a unique pooling position uh, for, for this, actually for this race. So to, I think to let go of this myth to understand the art market as any other market. Of course, there is something like offer and demand and so on, but letting go this myth that it is just a market and you are perhaps, especially in the beginning, nothing special there is, I think, a really uh, a perspective that is not helping. Your uniqueness, your possibility to produce these values is actually the beginning of everything. What you actually are doing in the, in the, in the art market and why the beginning or the stepping up to the next level is so hard, you are about to find the right connection to the market. Because art market is not like every other uh, possibility of, of selling and, buy and buying. It is more specific. It is um, it all together is called an art market, but is put together of different art markets that all combined are making the um, the art market. And your interaction with this art market is the problem to find the right uh, to find the right people to find the right network to start the in interaction uh, with it and. Um, I think one of the game changers for me was when I was back then in, in London studying art all day, drawing all the masterworks in the National Gallery. And uh, in the evening I was going to a pub and there was this outstanding old artist. <coughs> he was really a, pers uh, a person <coughs> that has seen everything and done everything. And I remember in one corner of, of this um, pub there was a pinball machine. And one day he 
uh, he uh, said to me I should come over and then I was standing in front of this pinball machine and he said to me that actually the art market is like this pinball machine and I was wondering why and then he began to explain it to me and this point of view was the difference for me that what we I will try to make this uh, story as short as possible uh, what we artists are expecting is to get to the pinball machine that is the art market pull, uh, put our ball inside our artwork then we are pulling the lever the art uh, the uh, ball is starting and then it is directly hitting and making um, the points in the first hole and that's it so it is just like a, like, like a slot machine you are putting something inside and you are hoping immediately striking gold striking the, the win and that's it but this is not actually how the art marking is, is working and how a pinball machine is, is not working pinball machine is about this interactions this bouncing off the, the ball and the more often it is bouncing off the more joy you are having the more the more points you are actually um, making and every possibility in this um, pinball is someone in the art market he's his kind of intermediate uh, buying and selling you art and and in this uh, way it is going all the way around and it's the points that you are making during this bouncing off is the win uh, actually of the value you art is increasing in, in the art market let me show it to you in in a graphic that i made perhaps this is more helpful so you can imagine this is the, the art market and what we are artists are expecting actually that it should be this way you are an art dealer so you are selling your own art and direct there is on the other side the art buyer and you are just selling your art that's it uh, the game is over but actually this is not the game uh, the art market is a kind of pump for exchanging offer against uh, against um, profit so the more interactions there there are the more profit it is made through buying and selling reselling and all that is going on in the market and the most important people in the art market this is the third uh, player in the game are actually the art uh, mediators these are uh, people that are profiting from optimization of this interaction what what does it say uh, let's say you are going to the art market with your art and you first selling your art let's say to a gallerist this gallerist is buying your art but he is seeing a potential in your art a value that he can again resell to someone else with a kind of profit and this person is perhaps the uh, end buyer but it can be someone else let's say a, a, a auction uh, house or another gallerist and then this gallerist is also buying this art seeing the potential for uh, expansion of the value of the market value and reselling it and in this way this ball is bouncing off several times and the best thing for you as an uh, artist is actually that in this game you are always on the winning side let's say the, um, the uh, gallerist have bought your art and he has sold your art made a profit but now he's more or less out of the of your game but your art is still in the game and has increased in value and every time this is happening you value you your market position um, your authority in the in the market is actually uh, increasing so the more often your art is sold resold and even if you are disconnected from direct profit of it could can happen actually your art is always winning because you as an institution as a name are gaining in in value so the next time you are selling an artwork you are selling at any not anymore for the price that you have introduced that you have been introduced in the market but you are selling it to the you market uh, value that you have increased through this uh, interaction and this is an outstanding point of seeing the art market as a pinball machine and i like this this, this point of view of course there are many different ways of of seeing uh, the, the art market and there are many theories and for every artist perhaps there is a certain point of view for the art market that is making even more sense but i think when it's come down to this 
the most important essence of the market is to understand it as an um, exchange of value and trust. You are already positioned in the outstanding, uh, in the outstanding uh, role as someone who is a necessity in this game. Without you, there is no art market. It would be just a market. So it is depending on art and artists. The only problem is you have also competition. Uh, um, uh, you are, uh, there are also other people who are bringing uh, art into the uh, art market. So you are in a competition to, to act actually others. This is also uh, a problem. But nevertheless, you have the value and all you are doing is communicating with other people, building this trust. And out of this trust, uh, interaction is developing. And it is all about people coming together who are actually interested in certain values and what you are doing right now in art is producing certain values that are important to one of the art market ar arenas all you have to do is to optimize to find or to optimize the arena you are uh, in because nevertheless art market is about culture it is about civilization and culture and civilization needs values and the more you understand for which culture of for which cultural contributor you are of interest as a necessity the necessity of the values that has to be manifested in in artworks the better you are progressing um, in in your artistic uh, career so if you like if you today have the time think about the unique values that you are have, having what is your unique contribution what uh, values that you are producing are obvious to others? Where can you actually contribute to the agenda of someone else with, with the values? So he's actually, she or she is actually interested in taking your value, giving you in exchange uh, that you, you profit, but then is also able to do something with these values to increase his or her own profit. Where can you be useful to increase uh, of, of values and, and helping other people to proceed with their or own agenda. And this is, I think, one of the most uh, important uh, steps that you understand the values that they are producing and what is making it unique and a necessity to others so they can also profit from, from those values. I hope you are finding this interesting and I also hope to, uh, that you uh, will follow me in the next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye bye.